Hi everyone, this is Randy Schwimmer. Welcome to the Fran and Rand Show, the Lead Left's quarterly review of direct lending with our special guest, Fran Byers, the head of middle market loan analysis for Affinitive LPC. Fran, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, Randy. Thanks for having me. So 2019 was an interesting year in the capital markets with a lot of different things going on in leveraged loans. Yeah, for one thing, institutional loan volume was down 50% year over year, and we saw a return of volatility in the second half. It was also a very bifurcated market with part of the market risk on, but technicals for CLO managers also drove a risk off mentality. Why was that? Well, Randy, when the yield curve inverted in August, you saw CLO managers become super selective about which lower rated credits they were buying. And a lot of B2 and B3 rated issuers saw serious pushback on terms and pricing if they were too aggressively structured. This really slowed 4Q19's deal flow pretty dramatically. But with the Fed's announcements on rates, stable economic GDP growth expected, and good news on phase one of tariff negotiations, we've seen institutional cash building, and there's been a rally in lower rated paper. So does that paint a better picture for 2020? I think we could start the year with a more bullish outlook, with investors looking to put money to work, and arrangers willing to underwrite more aggressively. M&A activity could also improve, as corporates seem pretty inclined to buy and sell companies, and as you know, private equity sponsors still have a lot of cash to put to work. That's true. So what about CLO issuance next year? The brokers on the street are estimating it's going to be about 90 to $100 billion range. Now, that's down about 20 to 25 percent from this year, but it's still pretty robust. But the lower volumes is really being driven by the tougher ARB due to higher liability costs. Okay, Fran, as we say to our Colombian nanny, English, please. (laughs) Okay, so I mean the equity spread between the cost of managing a CLO, which is the all-in cost of the debt structure, and the yield from the assets is tightening. That's because CLO debt, mostly AAA debt, has been higher and loan spreads have kind of been stuck in a range. Got it. Okay. So what about middle market LBO volume for next year? We're expecting it to be similar to this year at around $46 billion. Now, direct lenders are going to continue to take market share away from the syndicated market, but purchase price multiples are still going to be stubbornly high, which means more buyers and sellers are going to continue to experience this disconnect between the bid-ask spread. Hmm, and it wasn't long ago we thought 2020 might end in a recession. Yeah, I think the tone has improved. We originally thought volume was going to be worse next year, but now some lenders are saying, you know what, maybe volume picks up and things continue on a stable path next year. But trade, Brexit, and portfolio performance still has a lot of folks worried. Friend, what kind of barometers are you looking at and what are lenders worried about when it comes to the health of their portfolios? So portfolio softness is one of the biggest themes that was mentioned in my quarterly lender survey. I asked my lenders if their watch list was growing, shrinking, or staying the same. About 50% said it's stable, but over 40% said it is growing relative to this time last year. Whoa, 40% for such a benign environment. That seems like a big share of lenders having portfolio issues. What do you think is driving that? Well, some are saying that they're already seeing the impacts of the trade war on their manufacturing portfolio companies, including less capex spending and a slowdown in hiring. But really, lenders are most concerned with the level of EBITDA addbacks and synergies not materializing. So much of their portfolio growth in this cycle has been driven by these add-on acquisitions. And instead of deleveraging, issuer leverage is creeping up post-close. 